Oh, okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question. The diagram shows a field lines of an electrostatic field. X and Y are two points on the same field line, which are shown like this. Outline which of the two points has the larger electric potential. So you have to find uh, uh, where will be the more electric potential and outline and you know like these kind of words they serve you as a keyword like outline explain it only means that you need not to go into the mathematical part of that you can even write the answer just like that um, uh, without uh, referring to some mathematical formulation if you know it it is good that you can refer to that but need not to go into details for the mathematics so outline which of the two points has the larger electric potential so it's a very obvious thing like uh, because the electric field is going from y to x electric field is going from y to x definitely y is at a higher potential y is at a higher potential and x is at the lower potential and why is that because electric field is going from y to x so electric field cannot go from lower potential to higher potential it will always go from higher to lower no doubt about that so definitely this is at the higher potential this is at the lower potential and i will show you the answers uh, later when i show you the mark scheme for this let us move to the next question now a satellite is launched from the surface of the earth okay so this is uh, uh, another kind of question like qualitatively different from what um, they were asking earlier let me show you the mark scheme then yes so the potential is greater at y and they have given you the reasoning also by the way like this but we need not to talk about that opposite to the direction of the field lines so the, if the field is going from y to x so the potential will be higher at y and it will be lower at x that is a straightforward uh, um, thing so we, we need not to go into this much of the explanation by the way like work done will be this or e is equal to minus dv by dr that is actually not required so uh, Anyways, so the answer is why. Let us go to our question now. A satellite is launched from the surface of the earth into circular orbit. So the, initially the satellite is at the surface of the earth and the data is given. Show that the kinetic energy of the satellite in the orbit is about this. So this will be the kinetic energy when the satellite will be in the orbit. This is what we want to find. Now in these questions I tell you students are generally confused like how to do it what to do whenever they read like kinetic energy it has to be half mv square and they try to do something so yeah even that you can apply but there is another concept that I'm going to tell you so there will be two methods um, we can try both of the methods so first of all let us go for half mv square only it just clicked me now like this will be the orbital velocity of the satellite and the orbital velocity of the satellite is like it is given by this that we know the mass of the satellite is small m so we would be using small m here height of the orbit above the surface of the earth so this is the height and the radius so our small r here that will be defined as capital r plus h isn't it because this small r is the distance of the center of the satellite from the center of the earth so definitely we have to add the radius of the earth with the height so this will be the r so the kinetic energy is about this so we will just plug this value here our value should come out to be equal to 800 this is 8 into 10 power 2 that is why uh, v naught square that will be gm into r m will be the mass of earth that is given as 6 into 10 raised to power 24 and r will be the sum total of this and this so this is 10 raised to power 5 this is 10 raised to power 6 we can say it will be 64 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 and when we add them that will become 69 into 10 raised to power 5 be very particular about what i just did so don't be confused uh, we can add these two values only if we have the same uh, raised to power to the 10. So this is 6. So I have used 1 10 out of this. That is multiplied here. So 6.4 multiplied by 10 becomes 64. This becomes 10 raised to power 5. And then we can just add them. So 64 plus 5 is 69 into 10 raised to power 5. This is it. We will uh, find this thing. And uh, let me see. Uh, this 11 can go to the denominator. 
11 plus 5 is 16. That can be subtracted from this now. And let me use the calculator and see if, yeah, we would be referring to the mark scheme only, okay? So you can use the calculator and you can find what is the kinetic energy that you are getting. Um, I would be telling you the second method also, which is more important than this method. But uh, let us go for the mark scheme first of all. I think they would be talking about two methods there. Uh, no. Half, by the way, they have used half mv square only the method that I we just did. Okay. They are using half m orbital sp speed square. So this is the kinetic energy that they have used. But there is another method. And let me tell you that also because that is very important to understand for us. See, let us say this is the planet Earth and this is the orbit here. This is the satellite which is moving. So this kind of a situation is called the bound state. And in the bound state, there are three formulas that are always valid. They can be always applied just without even thinking. So that becomes really very easy. So the total energy in such a system is given by negative GMM by 2R. Kinetic energy is given by positive GMM by 2R. And the potential energy is given by a negative GMM by R. Out of this, this formula for the potential energy is very easy, which is even uh, similar to the formula which we use in electrostatics, that is topic 5.1 or the topic 10, we can say. So uh, this formula you will be remembering, but according to that, you have to remember these formulas. You can verify if these formulas are given in the data booklet. So this is your kinetic energy. He's asking question on kinetic energy. Just plug in the value, get the answer. And I show you what we did in the last method. In the last method, we did half m v square. So that was coming out to be gm by r only. Isn't this actually same as whatever what I'm already telling you, gm by 2r? Even this is gm by 2r and both of the methods are going to give you the same value. In this method, method number one that we have done, at least there is some kind of thinking involved. Like there is half mv square, so you need to have the orbital velocity. In this second method, you need not to even give a single thought. We know the formula, directly plug in the value and get the answer. Okay, dear students, so this is called the bound state, which is very important for many of the questions. Like I will show you many other questions we would be using this, this system of the bound state. Anyways, so this is how we do the point number one here. Let us go to the second question now. Determine the minimum energy required to launch the satellite. Ignore the original kinetic energy of the satellite due to the Earth's rotation. Okay, now I will show you the use of the bound state that we just did. You see, according to the concept of the bound state, the total energy formula in the orbit, it was coming out to be negative GMM by 2R. This is the total energy of the satellite when it is in the orbit. So this total energy should match the total energy when it is going to start, when it is going to start its motion. So at this point, it is having a potential energy, but kinetic energy is not there because we are going to neglect this kinetic energy due to the earth's rotation so we are not bringing that into account so only potential energy is here but in this case the total energy is given by negative gmm by 2r so there is some energy that has to be given and that will be given to this as kinetic energy to the rocket and because of that energy the rocket will be placed in the orbit so this is what is the concept so the bound state says that the total energy in the orbit is this and what is the potential energy at the surface of the earth negative gmm by capital r because the radius here is capital r so this plus kinetic energy should be equal to negative gmm by 2r and accordingly, we can uh, we can find the kinetic energy that was supposed to be given here. Uh, we can say the potential energy at the surface plus kinetic energy at the surface that should be equal to the total energy at orbit. We can say, 
and this is the total energy at the surface from there we have to calculate the kinetic energy that has to be given the minimum energy required yeah that energy had to be given to it okay let us see so that will be equal to the kinetic energy this is what is your answer so we have to find this just plug in the value and get the answer and let us uh, see in the mark scheme what they are doing are they going for some easy method i don't think there can be an easy method by the way this is like this is what you have to do uh from here we will take gmm common it will be one by r minus one by two r that is equal to kinetic energy i think you have to do this uh with the help of the calculator at least okay let us see what is there in the mark scheme okay so what they have done is they first find like uh, the change in the potential energy at the two locations here and here uh, the change in the potential energy uh, which is taken as gmm divided by 1 by uh, capital R minus 1 by small r and then they have found the kinetic energy also but that you have already found in the part number one so you can readily use this and then you add it into the the new change in potential energy because here the kinetic energy is zero and then you add them so the total energy needed will be this by the way calculation will be there you can't help it and um, this will be your answer so whatever we did mathematically you just plug in the values there and try to find the answer i believe you would be getting the same answer so if there is any other problem do let me know so what i did i found the total energy here and the total energy here and i subtracted these two so they are also doing the same thing but individually they find first the difference in the potential energy and they find the difference in the kinetic energy they're adding them I am directly finding the difference in the total energy. That is the only difference. Okay, dear students. So this is how we do this. Let us see if there is any other part to this question or no. Uh, so this is it. And this is how we do this question. It is done. Okay, dear students. Uh, I will see you in the next video. All the best. Bye.